Hey everyone, this is the first in a series of videos on IP cameras and specifically the TrendNet TV-IP572WI. Basically this one is a non-pivoting internet protocol camera. It means it has basically its own web server built in. You don't um, have to have it plugged into a computer that's the main thing you have it plugged into your uh, wireless network in the case of uh, this one or you can have it wired with normal ethernet I'm actually doing wired to a hub here um, only because I didn't want I don't know more stream of wireless traffic going independent of the hub you know there's a whole probably other different video but so what this is, is a HD or 720p, <clears throat> which is really all that's available for IP cameras right now. There is a delay in the, the quality a little bit with these cameras. So on the left side, you have a line out for speakers. If you wanted to do a two-way chat with someone uh, near the camera, you have the ability to do a micro SD card that you can record on it. Um, up to the size of the card, of course. Then you have the Ethernet cord, which I'm again using directly to a wireless hub here. And then you have the ability to slightly pivot the camera up and down. Then you do have a power cord that has to be plugged in. And that's the part that always fool you, fools you with these IP cameras that you can set them up inside or outside your house somewhere and it's going to be awesome you can monitor what's going on use it like a security camera but you have to have it plugged into a power cord and it has a lot of wires and you may not be close to a electrical socket anyways this this one does not do power over ethernet probably a whole different video again but you can get your power over your ethernet cord if your router supports it uh, and you can get rid of the AC cord here. Okay, this one also does uh, nighttime video, infrared video by these uh, kind of glossy clear things on the side. They, they basically click on red uh, when, when uh, it's being recorded at night. And here there's basically a WPS button and a reset button. Uh, the WPS button I can't use. It's basically for routers that uh, support an automatic configuration. I use the Apple one, so I don't, I don't have that. All right, so this thing is just, I'm just playing with it right here, right now. And it is recording. I did record the take the record light off because it's distracting. Um, but you know, you may want it on to see that it is recording. Um, what else can I tell you? That's it right now. It's been pretty stable. The camera quality, I'll say, is it's okay. You know, it's not like an iPhone quality video. Uh, again, it is 720p that I'm running the setting on. You can make the resolution size smaller. There's a trade-off, right? The higher the resolution, the more bandwidth you're going to need. Um, so there's that. There, the software that comes with these trend nets are it's actually pretty good. I'm I'm pleased with it. I'm actually using uh, a Synology DSCAM or surveillance station software for my NAS and it, it works perfect. These are uh, certified cameras with that device. I The camera will drop occasionally and I mean very occasionally like every you know a few seconds every three or four days. I think you got to keep that in mind. This thing is running 24 hours a day, all the time, and is dependent on the connection of your wireless network and everything else up the chain. So, 
for it to go off a few seconds every three days. At least that's what I've seen so far. That's that's actually a pretty good quality of service. You can mat it on the wall, do it through like that. Um, this thing swivels a little bit. It maybe could have designed this a little better, but um, it's fine. So I'll try to show you some sample video. Uh, this is one of my few